Hello, hello, this is Patrick again, and welcome to, I believe, episode 5 of the Meeple Station Let's Play. Alright, so last time we created our ship, and we didn't really get a chance to send it off yet, so this time around we're going to be sending it off and uh, exploring some of the nearby areas. And while that's happening, there's a few um, things I want to build out. So we have an officer now. Um, I believe it's Kitten. We want to spruce this room up and make it really nice because we want our officer to um, basically not be ever having a bad time. <laughs> I'm going to be making this room a little bit bigger and a little bit nicer. I want to finish kind of building out this floor a little bit. Um, maybe build this out as well. So... Yeah, that's the plan for this time. So I guess let's start by sending this out. So we can launch. Let's see, we got Oris. We could go to one of these moons. Or we could go to a whole another planet, I think. I'll try one of the, the little moons around this area. All right, there he goes. Goodbye. Okay, here we go. This is our ship. The scout vessel has come in. Um, as part of my assessment, I finished scanning the surface for mineral deposits. And there's a spacecraft. What? Origin. The pattern isn't in our database, sir. No life signs. If I had to hazard a guess, looks like an escape pod of emergency craft. Makes you say that. Uh, not much room for cargo, not much propulsion system. Looks mainly to be braking and maneuvering thrusters of some kind. I'd say it's not meant to achieve orbit. Mm, the debris around the planet and of the surface. Can't really tell most of it. There appears to be a deployed parachute. Ooh, sounds like a fair guess. How does the surface conditions look like? Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> the surface conditions are well within the capabilities for entry. Flight computer is working on a solution. If you think it's safe enough. It'll take a little while to work out trajectories. I'll leave the channel open so you can monitor entry. We'll check back in when boots are on the ground. Right. Copy. Uh, successful. And they're 100 meters away from the landing site. Initial inspection of the site. Get the impression there wasn't a crash. The land seems purposeful. Thing. Um... There's an antenna pointing skyward, probably comms gear. All the equipment's dead, the rest of it, well, just to put it plainly, I'm not a scientist. I could speculate as to its purpose. Are there markings? Seems to use something in a known alphabet, but that's a gibberish to him, so. Take some images and relay them back. We're going to check out the crap. Single seat, some carbo cargo storage, which is now empty, and the craft's control was probably automated. There's no physical controls. The craft's dead and in the water. Um, dust everywhere. Not doing well. <laughs> All right. Temporary airlock. No doubt about it. Two layers, each of the doors. Going in the cave. After several minutes, there's some kind of sealed, suspiciously meeple-shaped pod or something in here. I don't know what the purpose is there, and doesn't seem to have power. Probably shouldn't open it without proper atmosphere, just in case. I'm going to drag it back to the ship and load up everything else I can, and the station scientists can figure out what to do. All right. The scout ship has returned with artifacts retrieved. A unique search project has been added to the research plan channel. 
don't know why it keeps pausing it. All right, so now we can research this ancient pod. Oh, you know, that actually reminds me a while ago, we researched a bunch of things and we got this laboratory. And this is supposed to really speed up how the research happens. So I think I'm going to start building out like a little lab area. All right, should we send this out for another trip? Um, let's launch. You know, let's just scout. Scout this one. It doesn't really say um, how many things we have to explore. I think we might have already fulfilled that because the next objective is just researching the pod. Um, oh, you know what? We don't have a scientist assigned, I believe. Xylophone is a scientist. Scout ship scoured the wreckage of abandoned meeple ship. Unfortunate, or fortunately, the wreck wreckage wasn't entirely destroyed. They were able to salvage some of the data storages. Interesting. All right. Opened up the life pod back. Uh, the power gave out a long time ago, and the occupant is long deceased. But without a doubt, the remains of a meeple. Sad. However, then I say a long, long time ago, what I mean is the remains are old enough that we can to do radiocarbon dating. 8,000 years old, wow. So we're discovering that we've basically been going to space before. Um, Have any idea what this means, Captain? The remains are dated from a time in our history before we, as a species, were even close to spacefaring. Which means at one time we already were spacefaring and somehow lost the ability long ago. Uh, the geology contained no evidence of meeple more than a few hundred years old and renewed the public's fan with the teller's myths. Honestly, it didn't give it much stock. I was just thankful to get some proper funding in the aerospace section for once. Honestly, I can't think of another explanation for this besides that there was actually something in the teller's tale. Meeples aren't originally from Daven. This is the recommendation of the science wing as well. Please see to it. But we figured out enough to pull the origin of the spacecraft around on the edge the stone, wow, uh, so the spacecraft that they found them was, or it, like, came from an area that was on the kind of the edge of the, our known system, which is very interesting. So this we can change, so we can just have, so we definitely want the janitor, the officer, the guard. Launch this. <gasps> oh no! Uh, that's not good. Okay, emergency situation happening. Okay, we do have a second engineer, so, oh my God. Kalash is passed out. Where is our other engineer? No, that's not what I meant. I meant the wall. God. I guess that can work. They're gonna pass out. Oh, 
all the steel and then just build this. I just put the glass too. That and then we will be building glass right there. And I think I'm just going to send more people to be engineers. Sorry, you are an engineer now. Pirate, you are a engineer. Please save this person. Please. <laughs> no. Please, please, please build it before they die. Okay. Okay. No! Are you serious? No! Kalosh died because I was stupid. is very upsetting. I don't know how to move on. Very depressed. in some stylish flooring. Okay, so I'm stupid and I didn't really read how this says the new location. Um, I didn't really look through the full map, so I don't know what the new location is. Is it this? Station, this is mission control. These data packets you've sent us, I can't believe what I'm reading here. The implications of this are staggering. I've got to get all of this over to the research wing and linguistics. You mentioned you may have insight on the origin of the craft. I think we did. Uh, keep us appraised, Patrick. I've got a lot of people to talk to. That's cool. All right. What is... Did this change at all? Wait for your scout to arrive. Okay, I can do that. Um, I also wanted to update, I really updated this med bay room here, and it says splendid, which is awesome. But I think when we add in the med bay, the, like the beds, it's not going to be as splendid. But for now, our doctor can enjoy the splendid room. All right, our ship got back to us. The station, this is Pelican. Upon reaching the mission coordinates, a thorough scan was conducted as per request. You're not going to believe this, but there's a spacecraft out here. Uh, it's in orbit, but it's definitely dead in the water. No power, no life signs. That's weird. It's big! At least a couple hundred meters long. Two large spherical sections in the front with a rotary ring segment behind it. Huge thruster section behind that, and the whole thruster section is ripped up. Yikes. I don't know what happened to it, but the damage is extensive. 
They probably limped here from wherever they came from. Definitely emergency situation. Could go extra vehicular and check it out, but I'd feel better about it if we got an actual team down here. Will do. Over and out. Okay. What you found is making some major waves down here at home. They're already planning a major joint effort expedition. Um, awesome. Science teams have already been assembled of the best minds. It's good you called this one home. This craft is of global interest now. Um, they're already putting a launch together. Should go up in a few days, a few more to get that artifact. Can't wait to see what they find. Contact you when we have something new to tell you. All right. Uh, this is the station. That's funny. Well, the expedition has been at the site for about a week now. Turns out you're not actually speaking to Saven right now. What? But Stray Haven, as the ancients apparently called our home planet. Over time, must have just become Say Saven. The linguistics figured out most of the language and came up with that one over the week from what they're Pulling off the artifacts databanks, we're all still reeling from that one. 